Well, hello everyone. Um, Merry Christmas Eve to you all. I'm here in Santa Fe. We had some, uh, well, it was unexpected to me. We had some kind of icky Chicago style uh, wet and cold weather today. Um, uh, I got my booster shot on Tuesday. I think I did a video. Yeah, I did do a video of that on Tuesday after I got it. Uh, at first, it was just like, okay, it's making me tired and everything, but I uh, had some other issues uh, with very very sore and very sluggish, and it's been really hard to get motivated this past couple days, and um, I did get to go to, I had to, well, I had to get the booster, my mom told me, in order to go into the city of Albuquerque to do Christmas shopping, but unfortunately, that was the day after, that was Wednesday, the day after I had the booster, and I was feeling a lot of side effects as far as, like, just extreme exhaustion and fatigue, and just, I was very sore, I was just very sore, so it may have affected my mood a little bit, I mean, it didn't, I tried not to let it dampen my spirits or keep me from, like, doing Christmas things and doing fun things, so I still went to Albuquerque. Um, tomorrow morning, I am going to, uh, last Christmas, uh, which, which was not good at all because I was sick and I could not, I had to stay home Christmas Day and not spend the holiday with my family. It was not my choice. This, this year, thanks, I spent Thanksgiving alone. That was my choice, but, um, Last year I had to spend Christmas alone, pretty much quarantined. Uh, I was pretty unhappy. They did bring me my gifts the Christmas night, so I was really pleased with that. But I really wanted to uh, spend it with them. I it's been always a tradition to have like you know sit around. And, uh, well, I don't even know if they're getting a tree this year. I said something about they're not getting a tree, but we used to sit around the Christmas tree and you know. Uh, pass presents around and just kind of relax and then have a really nice Christmas brunch, which uh, I believe it was 2019. I cooked some, um, some strawberry banana French toast. It was so delish and my, my family loves it. And I miss those days. We don't do things like that anymore, but I am going over there tomorrow morning, um, early at like nine o'clock, um, to open some gifts. I, I feel bad. I can't spend a lot of my niece and nephew, but they 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 have an unconditional love and they understand. And they're just they're grateful for whatever they can get from me. I I've always said to my mom. I think I wouldn't say it to my brother, but I always say to my mom. I think he spoils those kids a little too much, and then you know. But but they're great kids, so they deserve it. Um, and they you know work hard in school and. Do, uh, have a lot of activities, a lot of things going for them, so um, I'm happy for them. Um, Albuquerque was pretty crowded, the mall, uh, you know, because there's, there's like two big indoor malls in Albuquerque, like opposite sides of the city. We went to the one that's kind of in midtown Albuquerque, uh, near I-40. Uh, very crowded. I kind of do my own thing when I go places with my parents. They wanted to have a nice sit-down lunch at a, a restaurant by the mall and then go to Barnes & Noble, which, see, I don't like to go in there at the holidays because then I'm wanting to buy things for myself. I absolutely love that store, uh, Barnes & Noble. Um, I, I, uh, so I went into the mall and I unfortunately uh, didn't get to film as much as much as I would have liked to. Um, I just go, I just do fast food or you know had my soft pretzel at Auntie Anne's and um, my Coke and went to a store to get uh, something for my hair to kind of see. I'm gonna grow it out again because uh, it's being treated with a special shampoo that makes it easier. So I am going to grow it out again. <laughs> um, trying to think what else. So Albuquerque was fun. Um, we didn't get a chance to go to Costco, unfortunately. I do need to stock up on some things, but it's been really tough with the uh, pet food shortage and just shortages in general in my, at my neighborhood stores. Um, 
so that's why I had really wanted to go to Costco and have a cookie, but unfortunately my parents really don't like big crowds at this time of year and we're worried about the virus and all that so i had to accept it respect it you know all that i mean i do understand i don't particularly like big crowds especially on the holidays but i do really need some things uh, to stock up on um anyway uh i feel i feel I, what i really miss about christmas that we did in chicago was Christmas Eve. We always went to church on Christmas Eve. Um, since my brother was in California, it was me and my parents would go to church, sing Christmas carols. I mean, growing up, that's what I always loved and uh, loved the most about Christmas was spending Christmas Eve with my family and then doing like hot cocoa or something around the fireplace. Um, but uh, they're, we're not going to do that this year. They are going to church. Um, so, let me see here. I got this. I, I don't have, I didn't get a tree. My mom didn't want me to get a 10-foot tree in my apartment. So, I just got this little thing from Target a few weeks ago. <laughs> I think it's pretty, personally. I had something else here, a Christmas decoration, that I can now not find. I had a problem with a uh, leaking washing machine yesterday, or well, actually it may have happened the day I went to Albuquerque. I'm not, I forgot what day it happened, but it soaked a lot of my clothes and a lot of my possessions, and some of it I had to throw out because it was destroyed. So it was not really that pleasant, but, you know, these things happen. My, it's fine now, and now I have a lot more to watch to do, so I hope it doesn't, you know, be like a, no pun intended, a vicious cycle. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep in good spirits. Uh, the side effects are kind of wearing off. Uh, I actually uh, may have some hot chocolate tonight. Um, I've been listening... <laughs> It's like a 12, I swear, it's like a, uh, I think it's 11 hours and 56 minutes of the best Christmas music on YouTube. And it is just, I love it. It just brings back so many memories. I just love the music, the songs I remember growing up. I just, I loved music. I loved Christmas music in particular, as far as um, the holidays and all that. I love singing Christmas carols and hymns in church. And that was, that was almost better when I was growing up than, um, presents on Christmas morning around the tree I mean sitting around the tree that was better than going to church on Christmas Eve and singing the Christmas songs and I just I've always oh there goes my dryer I've always loved Christmas music well I wonder what you guys are doing this Christmas Eve um, I just I'll, I'll continue to listen to music I'll probably be up late I have a lot of chores to do I want to make some hot cocoa I really want to cook something I've got a, I got to oh it's in the dishwasher now, but I got some, uh, I went to a store, and I'm sure you, many of you are familiar with Williams-Sonoma. Now it's kind of high-end, but I went there to get my mom a gift card. This was in Albuquerque, and um, I picked, I really needed some forks and spoons. So I did pick a few up, and uh, they were pricey, like $5, oh, $5 a piece for one piece of silverware. So I got four, which cost me 20 So... Anyway, but I need it, you know, it's not like something I just, I don't go and spend money just to spend money, you know, I, if I really need something, then I will, if I need to, I will spend a little more money, you know, than getting something at like Walmart or Target, if, I, if that's, I mean, it's about convenience too for me. So, um, anyway, in the comment section, let me know how you guys are all spending your Christmas Eve or your Christmas Day holiday. I'm I'm interested. I'm curious to know. As far as travels, the next big trip is uh, in a little over a month to Vegas, uh, Nevada, and uh, I'm super excited about it. Um, it was my dream trip. It was supposed to happen for my 50th birthday earlier this year. Unfortunately, it didn't. Um, so it's always my. I love the saying "better late than never" because I really truly believe that it's better late than never at all. And a lot of people had to cancel travel plans. Um, friends back in Chicago and things they didn't get to do. You know, they had to postpone it. In other words, I mean, they didn't cancel it completely. But um, that's travel plans. Uh, don't know of any big 
day trips or shopping trips to Albuquerque yet. I'm sure I'll know more uh, come the new year. And at least I'm grateful that this is not Chicago, not free, freezing ass cold temperatures. <laughs> and, uh, you know, not wanting to be outside to do, you know, do outdoor activities. It, I am grateful for that, that I live in a fairly mild climate. So, um, anyway, you guys all take care. Merry Christmas to you all. May there be peace on earth tonight, and may everyone feel love tonight. God bless. Bye-bye.